Welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hope everybody is fitting well and having the most wonderful Sunday. Um, if you're new to my channel, I've got a few new subscribers if you don't know me. My name's Joanne and um, today I'm coming to you with a different sort of video. Um, I'm doing a video on how to stay warm and save money this autumn winter. I feel we can all appreciate how much the prices have gone up over the last couple of months. Um, and I know I've been trying to save money where I can. I've been trying to shop more economically and run my house more economically, really. Um, so I have come up with a few different things on um, things. I've actually wrote a list for once on things I'm going to talk about. And I've split them into categories. Um, I've done them on like cooking and how to stay warm. Um, firstly, I'm going to start with cooking. I think it's really important that we're all like well fed and well um, hydrated. And I think a really good way, a warming way to start the day is with a nice bowl of porridge. It's really cheap to buy oats um, and just pop them in the microwave and it's a really quick, easy breakfast. Also, um, it's also sort of like soup and stew weather at the moment. So I've been using um, my soup maker quite a bit. I'm actually going to take it into the kitchen and I'm going to make one of my favourite soups, which has chilli in. So it's butter and squash and chilli and coconut soup. Um, and I feel like it's a really warming soup because you've got that heat from the chilli and that sort of makes you feel like a little bit warmer inside. Um, so we'll go into the kitchen and we'll make some soup. Today I'm going to be making one of my favourite soups, which is um, butternut squash with coconut. Um, there's only six ingredients I use for this soup. I've got two small red onions. I'm going to be using a full butternut squash. I'm going to be using a can of the light coconut milk. I've got some fresh ginger, I've got a fresh chilli and I've got one stock cube. I will be using salt and pepper as well got all my vegetables prepped now so I'm just going to put a little bit of water in the stock cube. Got my soup maker ready. Give that a quick little stir. I'm going to put all of my raw ingredients so I've just that much ginger. I've got a full chilli it's quite quite like it quite spicy my full butternut squash and the onion all in I'm going to open the can of coconut milk and I'm going to use a full tin just use that quite thick on the top but it's dead watery underneath. Oh it's quite thick this one. Get the water a bit at the end. the lid on and I'm going to set it away for 21 minutes. Lid on and set the timer so I go to mode and then I want to have a... I'm going to do it smooth. You can just do it smooth, chunky or that's for juice or blend. I'm just going to do it smooth. I like a smooth soup. Press start and then the timer should turn to 21 minutes. Soup's ready now. So I'm just going to push a little bit of cream around the top, just to make it look pretty, I guess. I'm going to pop a few seeds on. I hope you enjoyed that little soup recipe. I do appreciate not everyone has a soup maker, but you can also do that on the hob. And if you chop all your vegetables really small, it cooks so much quicker. Um, but I have become a fan of using my air fryer and microwave. In fact, I've actually 
um, more so I'm making a full Sunday dinner using those two gadgets alone. Um, I do have two air fryers. I have the Tefal one that rotates, which I've had for years, and I tend to use that for like roast potatoes and roast carrots and things like that. And then I use my air fryer that's got the draw for my chicken, and that takes anything from sort of 50 minutes to an hour. And um, where if I was doing that in my conventional oven, that would take anything up to sort of like 120, 140. So you are cutting down the cooking time like a lot um and it's costing it's so much cheaper to run the air fryer than what it is for the oven i normally cook it upside down first for the first 20 minutes and then i turn it breast side up for the duration um and it like i say it normally takes about an hour to do that and then when that's done i chuck my um yorkshire puddings in there i also use my microwave for like I use the steam bags that I buy from Home Bargains and I think you get 25 for about 99p and I put like broccoli and collie in there um, so yeah so I can do a full Sunday dinner from start to finish in about an hour using my air fryer if I do have to use my oven, I tend to make sure that my oven's filled. I don't just put it on for one thing anymore. I've got like three racks in my oven and I kind of think ahead what I'm going to be having the next day. And maybe do like a little bit of batch cooking in there. Um, and then when I'm finished cooking in there, I leave the door open and that heats the rest of the room. Um, speaking of batch cooking, I tend to do that a lot of that in my slow cooker. Um, I don't use mince, but I do use corn. So I would use the big 500 gram of corn and I would fill the slow cooker. So I would do like, um, for example, I would do a shepherd's pie the first day. <coughs> Second day, I would turn that into spaghetti bolognese. And then the third day, I would sort of turn it into a chili by just adding a can of kidney beans and some chili um, and boiling some rice and making it in. So I've gotten like out of that one pot i've got three meals i am a huge fan of um of like one pot meals for one the dishes it's very economical i don't have to use my oven at a hob um so yeah it's great i would make one pot meals another thing is to make sure your freezer is always well stocked uh, if it's not full of food maybe i know years ago people used to like put scrunched up newspaper and fill all the gaps because it's so much cheaper to run a full freezer than an empty freezer but if you don't want to do that you could also fill it with like cheaper things like veg and it's always handy to have frozen veg and it's so much cheaper than fresh veg um and so you could fill it with a veg, cheap veg or bread or whatever as long as your freezer's like packed tightly and um, it stays frozen for longer and it doesn't have to sort of keep kicking in and using so much energy i'm now going to move on to staying warm and my number one is my electric heated throw i absolutely love this it's probably one of my best purchases of 2021 i got mine from aldi and it's the kirkston house range so it's like lovely and fleecy on one one side i think i'll say that 34 36 pound i can't remember but i will leave that video link down below because i did review it at the time and um, this one that i have does have five settings no sorry nine settings and i normally have mine cramped up right to number nine and um, you can put it in the washer five times so which is great especially because i've gone for a really light one to match my room but i absolutely love this it's also got a timer on it so i would highly highly recommend if you could get your hands on one of those and um, so we use that when it's really cold when it's not so cold i use my hot water bottle which i absolutely love and um, i got this from dunelm and i think it was about 12 pound but you can get them cheaper i've seen seen them in big M's for £10 and I've seen them in one below for £6 um, and they've got some lovely ones they've got cream ones in one below um, but yeah I absolutely love this and we tend to use this of an evening and normally Michael's got one as well and we'll just fill it up put it behind our backs and we'll have the normal throw over with over with um, but I do absolutely love that alternative to that um i've got my oversized hoodie which i love i got michael the black one and i got me this sort of like rainbow not rainbow it's more like um like unicorn colors um and it's got it's nice and tight around the wrists so it doesn't let any cold drafts so it's got a nice pocket on the front which you could possibly put a hot water bottle in speaking of hot water bottles I've also got these, you could put these in the pockets, which would keep you warm. These are ideal if you're going out on a dog walk or you're just on your way to work or whatever. Um, I got these from Sheen and they were 50, 
75p each and um, that one's nice and warm I just put some hot water in it it's lovely um, but they're ideal for popping into your pockets if you really suffer from cold hands um, but yeah so this is super fleecy it's lovely it's like teddy bear fabric um, and it's got a nice big oversized hood on it I normally have this on for about a half an hour and I'm just so hot I have to take it off um, but yeah it is nice so I've got that and the last thing I've got to show you is I bought Michael this heated gilet. So it just looks like a regular gilet there, black. And it, if you unzip it inside, it's got a heated back panel. You can get them with the heated front panel, side panels. This is just the one that's got the heated back panel. And in the inside pocket, you just it's got a USB cable. And I've just popped a little power bank in there. Ideally, I should be using a smaller power bank, but I can't find it. So I'm just going to plug that in and then turn it on. And I'll zip it back up and show you how it works. It's got three settings, which is ideal. Michael's always cold at work. His um, place of work is very cold. So you just press and hold. And it should come on so there it's gone on to red and when that indicates red that's on the highest heat setting you can also press it once and it goes to white that's a medium heat setting and if you press it again it goes to blue and that's the low heat setting it's pretty immediate the heat and that power bank would keep it powered all day whilst michael's at work i can already feel the heated panel on the back heating up now so it's absolutely ideal um so yeah so at night just charge up the power bank and then plug it back in in the day and then you've got full you've got that heat all day to last you um but it's just about really keeping warm and um, also i've got another little tip instead of heating the room the house heat the room you're in in fact you could take that one step further in fact i don't even know if i've said this already because in between making this video i've had to nip the morrisons and come back so i've forgot what i said but um yeah just instead of heating your room heat yourself just sit with the hot water bottle sit with a throw and it, it will save you a lot of money and um, it's just so costly at the moment but also whilst you're sitting in the house, um, other ways you could put a pair of nice fluffy socks on, which I tend to do in the evening. Um, obviously, if you're out and about, also layer up. Thin layers are always the best. Um, I've got a couple of other things that I've been doing around the house. Um, I bought some little lights, which I got from Shane. And those are motion sensor lights, which I've got in my staircase. And as you walk up the stairs, they come on for about 15 seconds. So I've got three on my shelf staggered up the stairs. So if you're going up the loo, you don't have to put the top light on. And then if you go to answer the door of an evening, uh, the bottom light will come on. Um, and if you go to the toilet through the night, the top light will come on. So it's just ideal. It's just not putting them top lights on um i'll take you out there and show you them right i'm out on the staircase now and i'll show you what i mean when you walk up the stairs you see that one's just came on and as i'm walking up and then the top one should come on as i get closer to the top as well so they're just ideal um and they really do illuminate the staircase as well so perfect for that Something else that I found invaluable is this dehumidifier, which I purchased a few weeks ago from Lidl's. Um, it's got a closed drying setting on it, if you look at the top there. So I'll just turn that on and show you. So I'll turn it on. It's got loads of settings. It's got like um, the closed drying. It's got air conditioning. It's got a timer on it. Um, it's, so it's just measuring the moisture in the room. And I found that now that I'm not using the tumble dryer and not using my radiators, I seem to have quite a lot of washing that takes a long time to dry and this definitely helps. So it has a little flap on the front that you can open and that just directs it. So if you were putting like an air dryer here, it just sort of blows the washing and makes it dry so much quicker because it's pulling the moisture out the air. I'll turn that off because it's a little bit noisy. So I would highly recommend one of those. And then you, it, this one holds 20 litres of water. And can, so up to now, the, today, it's pulled that much moisture out of the house, which is brilliant. So the tank is almost half full. Um, another little tip is to always use the economy setting on your washer. So on mine, I have like a rapid wash. I'll just turn it on. So I can set mine to... 14 minutes 
Or another, so I've got three economy washes. So I've got a 14 minute, a 30 minute, and a 44. I normally do mine on a 14 minute. I'll do it on a 20, and I'll do it on a 1400 spin and the clothes come out really dry if you don't have that facility where you can move the spin up then you could put it on an extra spin and it just means everything's coming out so much um drier so i would definitely recommend using the economy setting on your washer and what i tend to do even when i'm doing my towels i'll just put like a cup full of bleach in rather than put them on like a hot 60 wash because that's so expensive it's true i'll just put a cup of bleach on do it on a quick 14 minute wash something else i've been doing is taking my bedding to the laundrette because i feel like when there's bedding that hanging around the house over the radiators over the doors it just takes a long time to drive and it ends up smelling feisty so i got this tip from tony from tony interior um, and I've done it a couple of times now. So what I tend to do is I wash my bedding and I wash my son's bedding at home. And then I take it down to the laundrette and for one pound you get eight minutes. So for 16 minutes it takes to dry both bedding sets. And within 16 minutes I'm walking out the door and I can come straight back home and pop them straight on the bed. They're literally bone dry within 16 minutes. So that was a great tip and it's one I've been using as well. Um, anyway guys, I feel like I've come to the end of my video now. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. If um, you haven't subscribed to my channel and you would like to do so, don't forget to hit the subscription button. And hopefully guys, I'll see you all in my next video. Summer is ended, the leaves are turned.